Good morning, modern steaders. It's raining out this morning, but right here we got a good rainy day project. We need to install the overhead door for the barn. I've never done one of these before, so today should be interesting to say the least. <laughs> I've never installed a garage door before, so I don't know if this will all get done in one video today or if this is going to take me two videos to accomplish. Leave it in the comments down below and let me know what you think. I have no idea. This all came with the kit from Jamaica Cottage Shop. We got our man door. I believe the overhead door in here. I don't think there's anything else, but we're gonna find out in a minute. The kit comes with a nine foot wide overhead door. These will be some nice 2x4s to save. I'm sure we can use them for something. This is all of our weather stripping. I'll have to set that out. Let that get warmed back up and straightened out. Must have got curled up from sitting in the sun. Ah, oh, it's a nice tan door. That'll be nice. Glad it's not raining out too heavy right now. Boom, I didn't know if we'd have to put the weather stripping on, but the bottom one comes with the weather stripping. Perfect. That'll save us a little bit of time. Set this one right up on the saw hosses, because this is gonna be the first one that we need to assemble. It's our rail system right here. We'll need to grab some tin snips to open it up. Over here are all the other parts and pieces. Looking through the directions and what the kit comes with, I think we're going to be missing the back bracing for the garage door. So we'll have to get that later. All right, we're going to find hinges, rollers, and the bottom plate. We're going to need, this is number three, two, let's organize this. One, one, 
I like three in this. One, one, one. That's how this is number four. Number one. Number one. Okay, so we have two number twos, a number three, and a number four. And a whole lot of number one. I had to grab a 7 16 bit. Got a 3 8 driver. Let's set this aside. Up three number ones. One, two, three. So, be my guess. Two. Now the nice part about the tracks is they have a lot of adjustment in and out and then when I have it lags a lot side to side. So I'm liking that. Let's grab two rollers. Let's get this ready. So get that in place and set our rollers. Okay, I have to kind of angle them in to get in there. Yep, like so. That'll be good. We'll get our next one up, set in place. We won't install the side hinges. The next one is the 21 inch high section. Okay, that's the one we want. So let's grab this find out if that is top or bottom and that is showing me that this is going up high so this is top this is bottom all right we will grab two rollers I'm gonna only put this one in for now grab this I'm gonna have to walk this in at an angle to get that roller in. I don't know if you can see that, but we kind of, there we go, an angle and then walk this forward. And that's why I didn't put this left side in, because if I did, I wouldn't be able to angle it and get it in place. We should need our number three hinges, which are right here. Three, three, but we won't install that one yet. And that's our number one hinge. Set this in place. 
Again, we gotta walk it in at an angle, like so. And we can set it down. Let's get all of our holes to line up. Let's loosen these up just to here. If they're loosened up, then we can kind of make little adjustments as needed. Now I'll go over to this side. Now let's stick in our next roller and hinge. Flush up everything. I'll leave that one like that for a minute. Let's go over here, flush this side up. Let's make sure we're nice and flush. Yep, we are. Let's grab the last hinge. Let's let it go. So the deal is with these, you gotta kinda go at an angle. You can't just go in straight. That's why we had to leave them off on this side so we could do this. And then, and I wanna see where my three holes line up right here. Let's get our last piece up and in position. So this, I knew I was gonna have this problem. I put our six by six post on top of a two by six sill plate. So what I'll do is I'll put a piece of strap in here and lower this down so we have the right height. Set this in place. All right, so now we need a half inch gap between the track and the door. So that will be right there. And then let's do a half inch here. Perfect. Next, I need my top fixture and roller. Oh, one, two, one, two. Let's see here. I need to go right out and get some one and a half by one and a half, three thirty second angle iron. Looks like the erector set steel, and then some bolts to put it together. We have some zucchini and summer squash fresh from the garden. 
fresh. First for the year, man. And we're gonna do a surf and turf. We got some halibut, fresh from Alaska, and some grass-fed steaks. The fish and the steak came from farmfoodmarkets.com. I'll have a link in the description down below, and I'll have a promo code down there for 10% off any order. This halibut is fresh caught in Alaska. It's a small family fishing vessel. They catch the fish, they process it right there on their boat, freeze it, and they ship it off. Oh, can't wait to try this halibut. It's gonna be mm. good, huh? Halibut, we're gonna do two tablespoons melted butter. Two tablespoons. Hey. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Two tablespoons lemon juice. And two tablespoons oh, of honey. I'm just gonna dump it in. You don't want me sticking that tablespoon spoon in your honey? No. Would you if I wasn't listening looking? And then Mmm. That's some good honey pops. Don't tell Pam. <laughs> <laughs> Marinade for a little while in there. Mm. What do you think of the garage door? It's good. I like it. You like it? Yeah. I like the color. The I beige. I'm going to put that window in. I'm going to put the window in. Transom Above window. it. The transom window after I finish the door. I don't want to break the window. I'm waiting for the window. I don't want to break it though. Install in the door. Then you'd be mad. Yeah. It'd cost you more money. <laughs> that would make me mad. It would. Sun feels good. Yeah. It was rainy out earlier. Mm -hmm. I want you to open the garage door. I can't. It's not done yet. It's sitting there, but I don't have it all finished. Tomorrow I will. Okay. okay. Little man, you're almost the same size as Hope. Almost. Holy moly. He's probably he's <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Oh goodness. Seventeen. I'm hoping it's less than twenty. I hope it's twenty-four. I said nineteen. Is there a chicken? Yep. Wait, I can't see. Two, four. I don't know. Six. Seven. Nine. Eleven. Twelve. Are you sitting on five at least? Yes. <laughs> I win, I win. Wait, wait, what was I at that? Twelve. Thirteen. 13. Oh yeah, fourteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Who wins? Who wins? You. Alright, who knows what kind of bush this is? It's got nice little flowers and it's growing like little string <laughs> bean pods.
Look at that. There's more right there. What is that? It's not string beans. I know what that is. A... Japanese beetle. Where's the tag me? Take a ride to Lowe's and see if they have the corrugated angle iron that we need to finish installing the door tomorrow. I hope they have it. Sweet, they got it. Now we just gotta get the amount we need. Now we can head back to the farm. Oh, ha, ha, look how small that pile's getting now. I like it. Makes it a lot darker in here now. Well, I guess we know what we'll be doing tomorrow. We're gonna to be finishing installing this garage door. I will say this has been my least favorite project so far. I don't know why, and if I stop and think why I got all flustered and I guess kind of annoyed with building the door today, I have no reason. I think that's kind of funny. If you get worked up when you're building something or just worked up in general, if you stop and reflect afterwards, it's kind of funny and you can laugh at yourself. I think it's even more so when you're editing the video. I could tell what kind of mood I was in when I was editing the video, and I'm like, there was no reason for that. So if you get stumped or if you, not, something's not going as good as you'd like it to go, stop, take a breath, and just shrug it off. Tomorrow will be a better day. Stop, cook a delicious dinner like we did tonight, and forget about it and go back at it the next day. Nothing's as bad as it seems. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you guys go over to farmfoodmarkets.com, the links are in the description down below when you make a purchase. Don't forget the promo code. And by using the promo code, you also help sponsoring our channel. That way, it is an affiliate link. So thank you, guys. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. <laughs>